And now incoming chairperson of the board, Marsha Jones, will present the Distinguished National Leadership Award to outgoing chairman of the board, Ray Vara. Ray Vara is a powerful voice for the millions of Americans at risk for cardiovascular disease and stroke. His passion and purpose for helping others is personal as heart disease claimed his parents and only sister. I'm Marsha Jones, and it is my honor to present my colleague and friend with AHA's Distinguished National Leadership Award. Ray Vara is president and chief executive officer of Hawaii Pacific Health in Honolulu, Hawaii, and a longtime volunteer at all levels of the organization. Serving as chairman of the National Board since 2021, Ray has led the association to new heights, not only in the United States, but globally. While his accomplishments are far too many to list here tonight, I'll highlight a few. Under Ray's leadership, the AHA was relentless in achieving its 2024 impact goal, removing barriers to healthcare access and quality, and seeing tremendous success towards its 10 commitments anchored around this goal. Recognizing the pace of innovation and transformation, Ray furthered the association in embracing change, establishing robust operating and fundraising models, and investing in strategic research to make significant mission impact. Ray is a champion of the underserved. From advocating for Medicare expansion, to supporting tobacco policies for a smoke-free generation, to inspiring social entrepreneurs to transform communities. Ray helped the AHA establish an incredible foundation as we carry our torch into our next century of impact. Ray, our future achievements will be shaped by the strength of the foundations that you have helped to set. Thank you for your commitment to excellence. Your AHA family wishes you congratulations and the sincerest mahalo. Thanks so much, Marcia. Um, what a what a kind introduction, and I have to tell you, the, this recognition is is a tremendous honor, especially as I've gotten the opportunity to enjoy this uh, this evening and hear the stories of um, the other awardees and the impact that they're making in their communities across the country. And so, um, for that, I am I am deeply appreciative. You know, I've had the good fortune, as uh, Marcia shared, that. Um, I've gotten to serve at, at various levels throughout the American Heart Association. I've gotten to work um, with my local community. I've gotten to work at the affiliate and regional level, obviously served on some national committees and, and ultimately serve on the national board. And, and when I think about you know, what the things are that, that bind those experiences together and make it so special and even more so, so impactful, it's, uh, it's that we're centered on a common mission, a mission that has power, a mission that is um, makes a difference each and every day. You know, it's executed by talented people all across the country, both um, starting, of course, with Nancy Brown, that uh, you've heard that a lot, but it's certainly due credit. Nancy's leadership has been phenomenal and the team that she has built, uh, but also the volunteers that make the AHA uh, what it is. And, uh, and, and I think the other piece that really binds that together are the relationships that are formed as a result of that work and, the, and that effort towards a common good. You know, during the uh, my term as chairman, I've gotten to witness a number of things. Um, you know, certainly I, I started uh, my term as we were um, coming out of the pandemic, and I got to witness uh, from a front row seat the impact that the AHA made and the way it was able to be in the moment and the way that the organization under Nancy's leadership and the work of her team were able to respond to our various communities and the needs at, the, at that moment in time. Um, I've gotten to see how we chose to reemerge and take the things that we know were our core strengths and project them forward, as well as make changes where changes were appropriate. I've gotten to be part of creating our vision for what the next hundred years of the association is going to look like. 
Um, and I've gotten to serve with two amazing AHA presidents and Don, Dr. Don Lloyd-Jones and Dr. Michelle Albert. And so while my time is, is limited in terms of what I can share, and it certainly won't do justice, um, I have to say the impact of the, that the AHA has in, had in my life um, is something that I will be forever and deeply grateful for, um, for as long as I can remember. So thanks so much.